<laughs> Road trip snacks, <laughs> approval. Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. We are heading out on our road trip to Walt Disney World, but today we're making it to Nashville. We're going from Chicago to Nashville, then Nashville to Orlando, so. It's, what time is it, Peter? 10.26. 10.26? Are you ready? He is ready! I love you. And these two are ready, too. You ready, Daddy? further away but still here anything behind me we don't need until we get to our actual destination um, and then like toiletries and we have our bag packed just for our overnight in Nashville those are all at the ready as well as like quick things for EV and like anything that we would need on the road is up here um, all easy access and organized my second tip is to base your drive off of sleep schedule. So when we knew that we had some stuff that we had to do this morning, we decided that we would basically not race out the door and time it with Teddy's first nap. So he woke up at eight, we got on the road at 10, and now this first stretch, he stirred. Um, so this first stretch um, will be during his first nap and I fed him right before we left and then we had a full belly, got in the car and now this first stretch will be him sleeping. So that's key for like a baby. We plan on just like our stops will like correspond with him eating. Again, my biggest tip is snacks and food and milk for little ones on road trips. Jamesy being a little bit older this time around. We have him watching Hercules, but like I showed you, we have like books and other toys and stuff. Um, and he's already been, he's already been snacking. So our gas tank was like over halfway full, but we thought that we would just get on the road, gas is a bit cheaper further down Illinois. Um, and so our first stop will probably be after Teddy wakes up. First pit stop, getting gas, letting Eve out. Teddy's gonna nurse and they get a little snack. Two and a half hours in, made a good dent. I have no idea where we are. We're somewhere in flat, boring Illinois. Dad, Dad. You see Daddy? Hey. Daddy's walking hey. Evie. Should we? <laughs> We're at our first stop. Should we stretch our legs too? Yes. 
Okay, we are at our first stop. This kid is crazy. And James is out with Peter now, um, stretching his legs a little bit. He is probably ready for his snooze. So figure burn some energy and then we'll turn the iPad off and he'll, and he'll nap. Um, and I'm gonna run to go to the bathroom. Peter already went into the went to the bathroom, and so I think we've been we've been going for like two hours, and so that's a pretty decent stretch with little ones to get them out, um, just out of their seats in general. Like even though Teddy obviously is not gonna be walking around, it'll just be nice for him to not be in the seat. I also think that is like overall safety, like encouraged as far as like little ones driving in the car for long periods of time but ever overall like everyone's feeling good just kind of going with the flow it's pretty foggy but it's kind of let up a little bit so that's relieving i have major weather driving anxiety um and so that that helps my heart having that a little bit less intense it's a Oh, him, him, and him isn't even. Him isn't even. We're driving. <laughs> what are you doing back there? He's all full. Good. First, what? First diaper. Yep. First diaper. Let's chuck that away in the garbage can so it doesn't stink up the joint. <laughs> and let's get uh ready to go back. He also had a food pouch. Oh. Down there. He's a big kid now. All right, another pit stop. This is a bonus pit stop. We are almost out of Illinois. We're actually in Metropolis, Illinois, where a giant Superman statue is. So we stopped like an hour, maybe almost an hour ago. Um, we were trying to find um, someone to get off to change Teddy's diaper because he went to the bathroom. And literally as we were getting off the road to change him, he fell asleep. And they both kids have not really napped and they both are overdue. Um, and so that was a bummer and we were kind of hoping maybe we'll change his diaper and he'll go right back to sleep. So for the past good chunk he's just been upset, kind of whining, kind of crying. James has been kind of like whining except for when we're giving him snacks. He's been eating snacks like all day so we don't want to give him too many. Um, so here's to hoping that, so we stopped so Sarah could nurse Teddy and hopefully calm him down. Maybe he'll fall asleep. Um, here's to topping off the gas here. We only have like two hours left until Nashville. Um, hopefully these kids snooze a little bit and then we can get some knock out this last two hours nice and easy if not then we'll have a very chill I and mean, we either way we're gonna have a very chill night in nashville i don't think i don't know if we're doing anything i think we're just gonna hang out the airbnb um with the kids and the puppy but it's been a smooth ride other than that she's just a girl in her own world fresh dew ready to take on florida meet a new friend hang out with a new friend hey come on is this the face of a happy kid? Hey. Yeah? Hey. I don't know if we had vlogged that we had stopped really quick. We had needed to do a diaper change. <laughs> and just before we stopped, he fell asleep. <laughs> so then we had to wake him up. <laughs> it is a funny story. <laughs> we had to wake him up to change him and then he's been awake ever since but like fighting it and just like pulling at my arms like get me out of here woman take me out of here hold me but we were able to buy some time he ate um like a little mango applesauce pouch he had some veggie sticks we played we watched some bluey and then like enough time had finally passed where I'm like, why don't we stop, get some gas, and then we can like recuperate. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Also, James has not slept a wink either. <laughs> he was fighting it. Um, and then he was getting mad. And <laughs> I can't take him looking at me like that. Um, what is my hair doing? It's in a little clip. If you're wondering, I'm also wondering. Um, so James has also not slept, but he's happy we ate lunch. Another, I mean, I guess like I've, I've said before, like keeping everyone nice and well fed for road trips. Um, usually we would 
you know, stop and get food. But this time we bought wraps from Trader Joe's, like ready-made wraps. That way we didn't have to stop when we got hungry. Um, also, we are masking whenever we go indoors. Um, we're being really careful. We have hand sanitizing wipes and just normal, you know, regular hand sanitizer. We're being very aware of germs. We are getting on that cruise. We do not want to get sick during our traveling. Um, so that also helps with not having to like go in and just like more, you know, more contact with humans. Basically, we want as little contact with others as possible on this drive. Here we go, crossing the Ohio River, which means we are officially out of Illinois, which is almost beats Georgia. Actually, I think Georgia's more fun than Illinois because of the mountains. Illinois is just flat, long, and boring, but we made it. So this is a little garage Airbnb. Cute little shelves with cups and even tea for the Keurig. A record player, microwave, fridge, little shelf, nice big bathroom. Hey. I'm holding Evie so she's not upset because Peter's out getting our bags couch that folds out because it sleeps for bed tv and there's a patio we often get asked why we stay in airbnbs when we travel like when we drive road trip places and typically he's blowing up a balloon um and it's because of this child staying at a hotel with a dog often leads to bigger fees um and then airbnb feels more like a home which is more comfortable for eve we've had her in a hotel before and it's just like you can just tell that she's a little uneasy whereas like in here she like sniffed around and then she just like makes herself at home so it's really for the comfort of evie and then it's like a little bit less um and then the hosts are like a little bit more understanding. A lot of places on Airbnb are like, we love dogs, bring your dog. Um, so that's, that is typically why we're staying at an Airbnb compared to a hotel. And honestly, this little Airbnb was much more affordable than any other hotel off the highway in a safe area than like anything else that we can find. So in this case, it was also the best option just like overall for accommodations, but most importantly, is so that Evie can come along. Our Uber Eats arrived in famous Nashville for its chicken. We got Wingstop. We had to prioritize time. Yes, time and bedtime because we want to get up early. So we got like Cajun fries and... Parm fries. Parmesan fries. Garlic parm. Garlic parm wings. Mild. And okay. Wait, where's the Cajun. sandwich? After all that, and we go have our sandwich. Okay, we might still be watching some Christmas Mickey specials over here. The end of our road trip wasn't great. Um, Jake actually finally fell asleep and Teddy ended up just like being done, but he's also teething. He's been like hardcore, like anything he can get, he's chewing on it. So our plan for tomorrow is for him to have some relief and hopefully that will help. And then also just like, it is hard them sleeping in the same car. They're used to each other. But then the other thing that we learned from today is learning like how to balance James with the iPad and Teddy's naps because James is a very enthusiastic show watcher. He talks along with Miss Rachel. He reacts to things in the movies. So sometimes today he was like overzealous and it was hard because like Teddy was snoozing but like how can you tell James to be quiet when he's just happy in the car? So um, 
things that we're learning from traveling and on the road with a toddler and a baby. Also, when he was upset towards the end, it would have been nice to have like a bottle at the ready. So those are the two big things that we're gonna try to do better tomorrow. Um, and that's just like simple fixes in the car. James will just play, maybe not have the iPad when Teddy's snoozing. Um, and yeah, we're, we're just learning. We're learning as we go. You are not our Monica, so we'll make a great team. What are you doing? <laughs> hop, hop, hop. When you don't have your toys, your binky becomes a toy. And that's not even his binky. <laughs> he looks older. Um, I am all showered and we are headed to bed. It's like 10.30ish, but we'll lose an hour tomorrow. The grand scheme would be to make it to Fantasmic tomorrow. Every other night of our trip, we're gonna wanna go to bed early for the races. And then when we get back from the cruise, we're gonna wanna be at Festival of the Arts. So we're gonna try and get out really early tomorrow. Um, we'll just do our best. We are going to prioritize peace and happiness though. Are you boys toast? We're gonna get a good night's sleep. If not, we're just gonna get on the road. <laughs> Thanks for driving all day. You're welcome. Thanks for taking care of the kids. Yeah, yeah tomorrow's easy. a little bit longer tomorrow, but we're gonna start earlier. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and hopefully get to Disney World tomorrow. Yes, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>